Hello, this is Nikki Crancher and thank you for joining us. This is a video today on how we set up a custom domain for Citrix DAS so that we can use an alternative uh, URL for our, for our tenant. So I'm in my Citrix DAS console here for Nikki's lab.net. What we're going to do is we're going to have to do a few changes here, but we're going to go into the console here and we're going to go to workspace configuration. Okay, under workspace configuration, this is where you can configure your um, workspace URLs. So initially my workspace URL here is not very nice. So if I wanted to get to my tenant uh, from a client perspective or login uh, perspective, I would have to type this into this window here in order to, to get to my login screen uh, for Citrix. So this is kind of the storefront store, which isn't very pleasant and it's not a very good thing to remember. So what the first thing we want to do is we want to configure our workspace URL so we can change it to something more friendly. So in this case, I'm just going to go to Nikki's lab .com. So understand that changes can take about 10 minutes uh, for your subscribers. You need to distribute the URLs to your subscribers and manually update Citrix workspace app for the new URL. So yeah, we understand. So we save that and then we can have our workspace URL. So you have our workspace URL now, which is nikkislab.cloud.com, which is fantastic. But what happens if you really want to have your own domain and you don't want to have cloud.com? Well, you can do this. Okay, there's this custom space here, right? So we're going to add our own domain. So by default, you get the cloud.com domain. And if we want to add our own domain, you have to go through these procedures. In this case, I'm just going to go through my own domain, but I'm going to have a Citrix Managed Certificate since I don't really want to pay for one in a lab environment. So let's just click Provide URL. So in this case, I'm going to create a workspace, which is going to be, well, I'm just going to call it access.nikkislab.net. Um, then you need to say, I am I confirm I own nikkislab.net. So I'll do that. Now this is the bit where you can select whether you use your own certificate or whether you use a Citrix Managed Certificate. Citrix manages and renews the certificate automatically. Fantastic. Here you're responsible for using your own one. So if you have a DigiCert or other provider wildcard certificate that you can use and you manage, want to manage it yourself or there are lots of reasons to do so, um, you can do that yourself. So but I'm just going to say I'm quite happy for Citrix to manage that certificate. So access.nikkilabs.net. Fantastic. So guess what? It's available to me. So that should be fine. Nikkislab.net. So this is going to be my custom domain URL. We need to create a seed name which basically points to this location. Okay. Um, so what we do here is we can copy this, which we've done, uh, and then we need to create a C name for that. So I'm going to jump into my DNS um, service. So I have one here. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to create an action. So you, depending on your domain provider, I use Namecheap. They're quite good. Um, and if you want to join Namecheap, I'm sure I can provide you with a, a referral there to uh, get some discounts on joining up. So we need to add a record. So there's a little button down here, add a record. Uh, we're looking to put a C name in. So the C name for this will be, uh, this will be, so C name, the target is going to be, so if I put access and then my target. If I just click on save changes, um, I've now added my record in there. So now my C name for access dot lab dot net will now go to this URL, which will be the Citrix portal. Now, I'm not sure how long it takes, but we'll go back to the portal and do a detect. So I'm going to hit detect. OK, it hasn't hasn't noticed it yet. It's going to take probably about 10, 15 minutes. So we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll detect that's being done. Uh, the C name is now being detected, which is great. So we can now continue. Now, it's just to say that you will have to provision your own DML. So you're basically saying, I will update Citrix Workspace app to the new URL, distribute it to my subscribers. Apparently, it would not affect, uh, it will not affect any other subscribers going to cloud.com. But obviously, if custom domain URL redirections on Netscalers or Okta, then, you know, or identity providers, then you also have to provide that. 
So I'm just going to head and tick these three boxes to agree and continue. And that provisions the new custom domain. There we go. Now, um, that's it. Just basically saying remember to update all your workspace apps and um, URLs. And we're done. So now I have my... Uh, so I have my custom link here. So if I click on this, I should be able to now get to my storefront. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was it. That's creating custom URLs in Citrix. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you very much.